Frick Talk. Bring the action. What's up, YouTube? Jmar back at you with a new special. This is something that uh, it's new to the channel. It's called Trick Talk. So you see these videos on TikTok, and you're like, "Is that real? Can that really be done?" And I am going to dispel any myths. So how come I'm dressed like a doctor? Well, because when you see the next video, the guy who is making the TikTok video is dressed like a chef. So if he can dress like a chef, I can dress like a doctor or a nurse, you know, nurse, doctor, whatever. I got my scrubs on. Uh, so what are we doing today? First ingredient, olives. Do you know what I'm getting here? Second ingredient. Some of these ingredients he didn't use in his video, but this is going on after the fact, and you'll see in a second. Mexico. Some nacho chips. And what the heck is that? It's a waffle machine. So we're gonna make nachos in the waffle machine. Just like this knucklehead did here on TikTok. So this is a real TikTok or is it a trick talk? Find out next. We're gonna make this quick video. Um, we're gonna do a whole series. We got a bunch of good stuff in this. So if you don't mind, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay tuned. This is gonna be good, guys. All right, guys, I got the uh, waffle iron heating up right now, waiting for the green light to come on. You'll see in the video the guy's playing with the knob back and forth. It's, that's that's just the, a little bit of the TikTok nonsense. I don't think you need to play with the the temperature setting, you know? The video isn't shot in one shot. There's some there's some edits in there, so we don't know how long he's cooking it for. Um, but he said once the oil is dripping out the edge, that was pretty much when it was ready. And he said, you know, want that nice golden brown color on the cheese. He said, like, it's like fried cheese. And I've never made fried cheese myself, but I mean, I love fried food, I love cheese fried cheese it's gonna be it's gonna be delicious so oh, the lights on let's start building this bad boy so right now we're just gonna put cheese nacho chips cheese crunch it down we're gonna wait for the steam to come up the oil to drip out we'll take a peek and then we'll see if this really works here we go guys Ooh. that's hot So the video opens up with this guy. Oh, putting a bunch of cheese in here. I don't know what you put. There's no measurements. Let me get some, the nachos in there. And. That just crushes it down. Push the knob a little bit. Playing with the knob is the most important part. I just cleaned the kitchen. Now I got this big mess here already. I do it all for you. Get it up for you. You can see here. A little bit of steam coming off the back. I don't want to peek too early either because I don't want to ruin the surprise, you know? There's always a sense of uh, urgency and surprise in, in a TikTok video. So is it a TikTok or is it a trick talk? I can smell the cheese right now. It's, it smells like it's ready, but I don't want to be too soon. Can we see the oil up? Let me play with the knob. There we go. All right, I've got color in the nachos. I'm going to pull it out. Flip it. I'm gonna put it on a. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a piece of aluminum foil. It's looking awfully messy. All right, you just open it up. Oh, my second white glue. 
I mean a fork. I would say, I would say definitely a trick talk. This is not even close to coming up the way it's supposed to be. Take a look guys. We do have some nice caramelized cheese here. I mean, that looks pretty good right there. Um, but not nearly as easy to, to take out of the, uh, the waffle iron as it did on the TikTok video, so. Um, let's give it. A, let's just add the toppings to it. See how it tastes. And maybe it doesn't look as good, but maybe it's gonna taste just fine. So let's add our toppings, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we added all the extra ingredients. I added sour cream, salsa, um, black olives, and hot sauce. God, nice, nice cheesy bite there. All the fixings. Still hot. Not overcooked. Um, cooking this method makes the chips kind of soggy, um, makes the cheese kind of rubbery. Um, this is not good. This is a trick talk. This is not good. Do not attempt at home. Don't waste your time. So the best method to cook nachos is probably a sheet pan covered with aluminum foil. Put your nachos on there. Add your cheese. Cook it for till just just till it starts to melt. Just till it's all fully melted. Um, I would microwave my salsa just so it's warm not so it's hot just so it's warm so we add it, it doesn't cool up your nachos add it after you take it out of the oven add your sour cream your black olives your jalapenos whatever whatever else you add and that would be the preferred method this is the unpreferred method look at my that is disgusting all the time i save by using that I'm going to take twice as long to clean it. So if you want to spend 20 minutes cleaning your waffle iron, go ahead and make this stupid recipe. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.